You're in my video now. Cheers. And now I've got to think of something to talk about. Um, I guess the main thing on my mind today is Coachella. I am going to Coachella, leaving tomorrow, heading down to Palm Springs, and uh, everything starts on Friday. And for those of you who care about such things, Super Froties, I know you're one, um, I've got some schedule problems. Friday, we've got I, well, it's probably the same thing at Bonnaroo. You've got like multiple stages and you've got multiple artists all performing at the same time, all of which you want to see, and you have to make these horrible choices. So, advice, advice. Anyone who knows these bands, I mean, I know them, but I'm going to have a dilemma. So, Friday, we've got at the same time Silver Sun Pickups, who I really want to see, Of Montreal, who I kind of want to see, Tilly and the Wall, who I kind of want to see, and Jillian Welch, who I don't know. My friend Sandy really wants to see her. Uh, let's see. But the really hard one on Friday is Jesus and Mary Chain at the same time as Peaches, who I love to death and would love to see. And I've never seen Jesus and Mary Chain and always wanted to, but Peaches I haven't seen either, and she just blows my mind. Um, Felix the House Cat, which, eh. I mean, he's DJing at the Sahara Tent probably. He's not actually playing his own stuff. So I guess I could probably skip that. And Rufus Wainwright, who I love, who has a new disc coming out, but it's not out yet. And I haven't heard any of it. And I have seen him live a couple times, but... <sighs> probably going to go with Peaches, but this sucks. I might be able... Interpol is right before Bjork, and I might be able to, like, run over to Sonic Youth for a little bit in between Interpol and Bjork. But that kind of sucks. My life is so awful. Isn't it terrible to be, like, middle-aged and white and middle-class in America? I might not get to see all the bands I want to see. Life is so unfair. Two more topics. Number one, I got my first hater today. I'm so excited. I think that is some kind of significant uh, achievement or mean, has some kind of cosmic meaning here on YouTube. Um, and I was debating what to do. Maybe those of you who have already battled with haters will have something to advise. The main gist of his message, it was to my last video, which was kind of a, kind of a sappy, f touchy feely, empathetic video to someone who had kind of expressed some problems they were going through. And this guy started off his, his response by saying something about, um, do you even have a nut sack? Because I was being so touchy feely, which... Now, I figured I had three p options for responding. Option one, ignore it. Option two, delete it. Actually, it's four options. <laughs> Option three, leave, a, leave some kind of witty response. I guess that is only three. Okay, I guess this beer is kicking in. Um, so far, I've decided on... Option one, ignore it, but leave it there. Don't delete it. Uh, the witty res I thought of a witty response, because I, I, my first reaction was, why are you con so concerned about my nutsack, and doesn't that say more about you than it does about me? Uh, but, uh, you know, I, I stuck with what I usually advise other people on their videos when they start engaging haters, which is, and I, don't, I hate the word haters, actually. It's really, I consider them to be uh, trolls in the good old time internet terminology. And my advice to people usually is don't feed the troll. So um, that's what I'm doing so far is not feeding the troll. But yeah, I have a hater. Isn't that great? Um, the other topic of the day is Girly Bottom is back. And is he really Buddhist or not? I can't figure him out. He's so he's he's so dry, and that's what I love about him. But he's he it's uh, I can't figure it out. I mean, I must say there there is a lot in Buddhist teaching that appeals to me, and uh, I aspire to be to free myself of need for material possessions and and uh, 
desire for various things, although I fail at it miserably about 98% of the time. But uh, so I find it appealing and uh, I just can't tell. Is it real or is it not? Or is it partially real? I'm, I think I'm going to choose to think it's partially real. Maybe he's like me and he wants to be free of material longings, but, um, but it probably won't happen because he likes his wine too much. That'll be my, that'll be my, uh, my choice. His wine and his nubile uh, time masseurs who seem to be figuring into a story that he's not sharing with us yet. Okay, well that's about all that I have the capacity to blog about, and besides which, we're going to run out of time and I won't get this uploaded before the site goes down. So, Sean, congrats on another successful bash, and uh, hope y'all are doing okay out there. And uh, I will probably be uploading some kind of Coachella report next week. I doubt if it'll happen anytime in the middle of Coachella, because I'll probably be doing a lot more of this, and a lot more of that and a lot more of the other thing. But uh, hopefully I'll have some pictures and video and crap that I can edit together into something coherent. So uh, y'all enjoy the bash and I'll catch you later. <laughs>